This year may have been a bit of a disaster when it comes to fashion, but 2021 is definitely looking up. So in this video, I'm sharing some of the top most wearable trends that we can expect to see next year. Hi, I'm Leonie and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm talking wearable fashion trends. I know you guys like these videos because they are very achievable, affordable, and generally these trends are fairly universally flattering too. So I can't wait for 2021 and some of the trends that we've got coming up are very cool and very wearable. So here are my top picks for 2021. Now the first trend that I'm really looking forward to seeing and wearing and I'm going to call this one streamlined neutrals. So basically this year in 2020 we've kind of rediscovered neutrals. So a neutral palette became really popular again. So I'm thinking sort of creams, beiges, camely, neutral tones. What we can expect to see is those tones but we are going all out with them and wearing them top to toe. So we're really giving neutrals a serious blast this year. I love this style of monochromatic dressing because it is really flattering. Wearing any one colorway head to toe is extremely flattering. It's also really chic in my opinion. So I think the, the key with these new neutrals is is making sure that if you don't have pieces in the exact same color that you just think about tonal placement. So if they're tonally matching they are all going to work well together and look great as a cohesive outfit. So if you jumped on the neutrals bandwagon in 2020, great! Keep those pieces, add to your collection and wear them top to toe and just remember team tonal pieces together for a seamless look. I'd also like to just say a very big thank you to the team at Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. I've been a huge fan of Skillshare for a long time now. I've learnt so many things via Skillshare. I've learned how to play the guitar, I've learnt how to use my Cricut Maker and all sorts of other cool little tips and tricks for YouTube. I've also just finished a really cool course on learning how to create my own beauty filter on Instagram for Instagram stories and that course was absolutely amazing. Really simple and I've always wanted to create some filters so expect to see more. If you're not already following me on Instagram I'll leave my handle here so that you can definitely check that out as well. But yep I have had so much fun upskilling thanks to Skillshare. And if you haven't heard about Skillshare before it's an amazing online learning community and there are courses in just about everything you can imagine from art and drawing to photography and pretty much everything in between. There's even courses on business and marketing to help you upskill and if you need to find a new job then Skillshare has you covered because there'll be something to help you out. Skillshare launches new classes all the time so there's always something new coming up. There are no ads in the courses so there are no distractions. It's also only $10 a month to subscribe to Skillshare. But the first 1,000 people to click the link in the description box below will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. So if you'd like to upskill, to land a new job or just get creative and learn something new then definitely check out Skillshare. As I said I'll leave a link to them in the description box below. The next trend is all about shoulders. Now shoulder pads are making a comeback and not just in the expected way that we would normally see shoulder pads in jackets and blazers and coats and yes they will be in those pieces but we're also going to be seeing them in dresses, yes dresses, and in t-shirts. So I've recently just bought myself a padded shoulder padded t-shirt and it's fantastic. It just gives the upper body and your shoulders a great silhouette. Now shoulder pads if you haven't worn them for a while and let's face it most of us haven't been wearing shoulder pads they will take a little getting used to. You will feel like you're all shoulders but that does pass. You basically can enjoy a really structured silhouette to your outfit and I think shoulder pads have always done that. They've always given a really nice structure and shape to any outfit so Think about shoulder pads as something that you might dabble in this year and 
you can really start small like I have with a padded t-shirt because they are a simple way just to add a little bit of an edge and a little bit of a modern look to your outfit. Now all over prints are going to be a really key look as well so if top to toe neutrals is a little bit boring for you then think about prints wearing prints in the same way. So there will be a lot of clashing prints and mixing and matching different styles of prints in outfits but if you're a little unsure about where to start with wearing all over prints just opt for a dress or a jumpsuit where the hard work and styling is done for you but these beautiful printed outfits are also really flattering I don't know whether you guys know but prints kind of confuse the eye and they don't draw your eye to any one particular body part which makes them extremely flattering just remember that the size of the print does matter too Bigger, larger, bolder prints tend to magnify areas of your body and smaller prints tend to minimize them. So opt for a small to medium sized print and these outfits just look seamless and really beautiful and perhaps just slightly more interesting than a streamlined neutral outfit. But in my opinion, I love both. Expect to see second skin tops everywhere. Now these have been around plenty of times over the years but we are seeing a real return to them next year in 2021 so second skin tops are basically like the ultimate layering piece they are fitted really streamlined stretchy tops that can be worn on their own with jeans and pants or as I prefer to wear them layered under dresses and shirts and tees but these streamlined tops are essentially just a fantastic layering piece they're also an easy item to add a bit of color and interest to a really simple outfit as well and I suppose that's why they're called second skin because essentially they are just a really versatile piece that can be used to layer under and over pieces and as I said be worn on their own but these second skin pieces are going to be super handy another trend that I am really really looking forward to is a utility style vest. Now we've seen a lot of knitted woolen pullover type vests right now. They're having a bit of a moment which is great. What seems to be happening is they're going to evolve into more of a utility style vest. So in winter expect to see more sort of puffer style vests and as the weather starts to warm up again we can see kind of anorak sort of sleeve I think I'm kind of leaning towards calling them sleeveless anoraks so think of military style anoraks with pockets and drawstrings to sort of bring them in around the waist it's that type of thing but in a vest which I think is not only practical but also adds just a little bit of a cool element to a very simple outfit. This next trend is a biggie and a real winner for me and that is loose trousers. I feel like I've worn skinny, tight, straight-legged jeans and pants for way too long and now loose, baggy, drapey pants are, are in and they're going to be really big for 2021. I think what's happened here is that we've all been wearing out sweatpants and more comfy active wear and workout gear and so I think what we've been seeing here is that designers have responded to that and we can expect to see more baggy style pants a lot of the pants that I have seen have flat front or a waistband and a, a fly and button up front but they have elasticated um, backs so essentially it's all about comfort but I think what's happened with these baggy pants is that we've got a little bit more style structure and a little bit more tailoring but we've still got the comfort and for that reason they are a big winner for me we can also expect to see longer line necklaces which I think is again really great and it works in well with our neutral style dressing if you're wearing a neutral outfit Generally speaking, a necklace, a longer line necklace can really sort of be the icing on the cake and can really finish off an outfit. These longer line necklaces are really easy to wear. They do tend to be just the 
final piece in an outfit that just really takes an outfit from zero to hero and just makes it sing. Anyway, that's it from me today. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, I'd love you to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye for now.